Hey guys, welcome to the top 10 ways to survive on Small Tribe's official PvP and be the ruler of the servers. Let's get started with number 1. Number 1 have no life. Let's start off with one of the best ways you can survive on official small tribes. You need to quit your job, abandon your partner and children, and not look after yourself because if you do, the moment you log out, a player will see, will see the decline of the decay timer and start fobbing you. They'll try and raid you offline because that's the best way to get loot and the easiest way to raid. If you can get the advantage on somebody while they're offline, they'll do so. Artificial small tribes requires you to dedicate your life to every waking moment to maintain progress and not to mention survive. It's a lifestyle not a hobby. This leads to a lot of points in the video to come. What do you think so far with number one? Number two, account share. Account sharing is really only viable on small tribes, where the tribe limit is six people per tribe. However, with account sharing, you can have up to 20 people cycling six players over a 24 seven period. Advance so fast that you leave other legit tribes behind in the dust every day. I don't like account sharing. However, I see why people are doing it. I can realize and understand why people do it. The thing is, everyone says they do it. Everyone else does it. I have to do it. But it's the same with aimbotting. It's the same with meshing. It's the same with duping. It's the same with teaming. It's the same with desyncing. If you go to the mentality of saying everyone else does it, I had to do it. No, we all need to change as players. However, it's one of the best ways to survive on small tribes. And with pretty much every tribe that's surviving right now, doing it, it's more, more, and more full on than ever before. What do you guys think? Number three, aimbot. Do you ever have issues where you just wanna win? Raid a base, but you just can't hit that pesky little character that's running around in the distance? Well, you know what? Why not have aim assist to the max with aimbot? Aimbot will track people as they go, will show you what their flak is, and will aim for specific locations. This will make you look like the god of PvP with a fabby sniper. So why not use it? to win a raid. It is one of the biggest things and issues that's actually plaguing official. Aimbot has always been around. They fixed one aimbot back in the day. They fixed the railgun aimbot. However, I don't know whether it can be fixed completely. The amount of people that have messaged me saying that they are fighting tribes that have aimbotters is ridiculous. And you know why? Because they do it because they know that it will help them win. They know that they won't get banned. Most tribes, We'll put an aimbotter in an opposite tribe, one that's not linked to them at all. However, some people just have so little faith in the enforcement that they're actually aimbotting in their main tribes. It's becoming so much and so common that most tribes have an aimbotter. So that's number three on how you can win at small tribes. Now, number four, fishing. If you want to get all the loot and not have to soak a single bullet, you come to the right place. You know what you do? You come through the wall. Why go through turret towers and ammo and soak bullets when you can just walk on through a wall? Come out inside, take everything from their war rooms and transmit out from their own war room. Go in today and take everything you want. Take somebody's months and months of work that they've tirelessly worked on just by walking through a wall. Wildcard said they were going to fix meshing when it came to ASA, that because the game in ASE was an issue with its coding and it was a mess that they couldn't fix it completely. That they'd fix it on ASA. It's worse now than it has ever been. The amount of people I've been told that are getting meshed still is heartbreaking. What can we do about it guys? We can't even push turrets towards the mesh to protect against it. Who knows? Let me know down below. Oh look at this, it's number five, duping. Duping is a massive issue. Recently, who has the time to sit on the game and spend hours farming for this loot that may get wiped by someone meshing your base. Why not just dupe it? Transfer and dupe a bunch of loot and have hundreds of millions of items at your disposal to go have fun. This is ridiculous on official right now. Most official tribes dupe. And you know what? When it gets fixed, and it has been recently, two thirds of official tri major official tribes have been dev wiped for duping. Some tribes have duped loot supplied to them constantly by an outside tribe that is specifically done to do that. Most of those duping tribes sell stuff on the market and those markets make a lot of money. They get banned, does it matter? They've got about a thousand other cheap accounts from overseas where you can get them for a few dollars. Duping is a massive issue and they've been working on it. However, we are to blame. We buy the stuff. We take all the 
dupe loot and don't want to work for it? What happened to the days when we used to be proud of what we got in the game and the accomplishments we make rather than just paying for things and cheating? How can we fix it? How can we do better? I want your honest thoughts down below on what you think. Number six, teaming in alliances. This is dedicated to small tribes mostly because official just doesn't matter. There's alliances, there's everything like that. You have plenty of people. Teaming in alliances have ha have been a massive issue for a long time. The code of conduct states that alliances are not allowed. However, everyone that's on smalls has an alliance or an in are in an alliance or will use an alliance to their advantage. Oh, I'm getting fobbed? My other three tribes will just go fob their base on their server and make them have to pull out and my base is going to be safe. They don't have to defend my the fob on my base. They just have to go raid them and make them pull out. Why not? Rather than you defending for yourself and actually playing the game how it's meant to be designed to play, let's just rely on other people. Why not? I mean, if there's going to be alliances and you want, you want alliances to be okay as long as they don't attack each other, don't have a bit in the code of contact where it says no unofficial, no, no official alliances. Don't worry about that. There's nothing you can do about it. As long as you don't attack the same base location, it's not classed as teaming and the alliances don't even matter to be honest. So why not get a full on official tribe to come over and have 10 different small tribes tribes conquer a server or two. And if any of you get attacked, everyone attacks that person's base on their server. Can we fix that? Can we make it great again from when small tribes first came out? Let me know down below. Number seven, desyncing. This has plagued official and small tribes in the recent past. However, thankfully, I think they've patched that now. Desyncing has been one of the biggest issues plaguing Ark Ascendant and Ark Survival Evolved. If a player uses a, uses a program like NetLimiter, it can cause the game to not render structures, turrets, or anything else. This allows a player to strap C4 to themselves and walk up to a generator or a wall and blow it up. I've even heard information that somebody can actually walk up to your loot in your vault if it's not pin coded and take stuff and leave. If this is true, confirm it down below in the comments because that is ridiculous, let alone the fact that someone can just blow up all your structures and have no issues. Desyncing is a, is a massive problem right now. What do you guys think? However, it seems wildcard is on top of that. Number eight. Don't go offline, stay online all the time. If you're a small tribes player and it's well known fact that you need to dedicate what seems to be two full-time jobs just to stand a chance to surviving official small tribes. The way that small tribes is created right now pushes people to do many of the things I've listed as their gameplay styles. In the recent past, Wildcard has made it easier to obtain stuff and farm faster and make the game more fast paced. However, the account sharing side becomes a massive issue. I also, as a personal opinion, think that all tribes should be the same across all maps on small tribes. I think that if you're in one tribe on one map, that carries over to every map within small tribes. This will make it so that you can't have multiple people in multiple tribes on multiple servers. Account sharing should be taken down or should be enforced or monitored somehow i don't know if that's possible i'm saying that it should be doesn't mean it's possible but going offline is one of your best ways to survive if you're there to defend it then you most likely won't get raided because the way that turrets are on the servers and on the walls and everything it's a lot easier to defend with cryopod change as well it's made bases a lot easier to defend but not going offline means you can't go to work you can't see your family you can't eat drink, sleep, take a crap. What do you think? Let me know down below. This brings me to the second to last one. Number nine, don't play. If you never play the game, you can never lose. So if you're not playing, you're not losing. So why even log in? Why even play the game? Why put yourself through the stress of getting offline raided on small tribes or official when you could play something else and enjoy it and start again and have fun? more fast paced, play unofficial. Not playing can sometimes be a good thing and I actually suggest to a lot of people, take a break, stop playing the game for a bit. You'll find that you have so much spare time that you don't even know what to do with it because you're used to doing so many things and being on the game for so long that if you take a week off of playing the game, you won't even know what to do with yourself. That's what the game's done to us. However, if you wanna survive, one of the tips is don't play. <laughs> You won't be surviving, <laughs> but you won't be losing either. What do you guys think? Where are you at right now? And this brings us to number 10, RMT, also known as real money trading. This plagues many games. However, 
It's the best way to win. If you're one of the people selling, if you're one of the people buying, it can benefit you in many ways. You can buy teams, kits, base locations, have people wiped, to dupe everything. RMT is one of the worst issues on ARK. When people RMT, they do many bad things to maintain that revenue of cash flow. They'll cheat, they'll aimbot, they'll mesh, they'll dupe, they'll desync. They'll do anything to maintain that cash flow. They will do literally anything. They'll inside your base, they'll inside your tribe, they'll pay somebody to inside your base so they can get all your loot to then sell it to other people or sell it back to you. RMT is one of the root causes of all these things being an option to win the game. All these things listed above come down to the root problem that RMT causes it all. If people didn't have money invested and time invested into this game, then a lot of these these problems wouldn't be a thing. But because everyone's so invested and they can't make money in real life because they're playing the game so much, they have to count share just to survive. They have to be on all the time just to survive. They have to cheat just to survive. They have to just not play and just work to survive. What can we do to fix it? RMT, I have an opinion that RMT is the downfall of the game. And unless we do something about it, or they do something about it, or we just, you know the best way to stop RMT? You know the best way to stop RMT? Don't buy the stuff. Stop supporting the downfall of the game. How many times do I have to tell you? Stop, play unofficial, do something else. Stop supporting the cheaters, stop. If you get wiped unofficial, who cares? There's more important things. Let's bring the game back to the way it used to be. Let's bring the glory of Ark back. Or if we don't, the game is gone. And these tips will be true for many years to come. In conclusion, if you do all these things and have burner accounts, in many cases, burner accounts are bought from overseas and are very cheap and can be replaced anytime because most of the time people don't get banned by the hardware. There's no hardware bans. Mostly, most of the time, no hardware bans are done. So if they just lose an account, it doesn't matter. You just log into another one the other 5,000 they had they used from the RMT they had. Punishment needs to be enforced and the fact that it wasn't enforced for so long is one of the biggest issues. People think they're safe. Everyone thinks that they can just do whatever they want. And I know I say all this stuff while talking about a game, a digital dinosaur game. However, for me, it's a lot different. I make content, I try and do it legitly. If there's something that's happening or I hear that someone's done something sus, I'm out, I'm done. I'm not there anymore because my morals will tell me to get the hell out. I'm trying to make an honest living by making content and entertaining you guys, but it's extremely hard with the decline of the game and the cheating on official PvP and just in PvP in general. PvE is fun. I feel like I might be able to make some fun content on there. However, PvP still holds a dear place in my heart and these tips here seem to be the only things you can do to survive on small tribes pvp these days thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video it's more sarcastic version of tips it wasn't meant to be serious it was more meant to bring to light the issues with the game at the moment and why small tribes is so toxic i hope to see you guys in the next video and i'll see you then ta-ta bye bye oh yeah i forgot about number 11 inciting but only losers do that the scum of all people do that. The scummiest players in the game are the ones that do that. And those people shouldn't even be playing the game. Anyway, have a great day.